This is a test. This is a test. Ah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Madwood's Garage. We're in the Mad Truck today, heading off to the Forrester Dean FOD for short. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Madworks Garage. We're off in the Mad Truck today to the FOD, Forrester Dean. I've got Jake with me, I've got Ben with me, I've got me with me, and in the back we've got a load of tools because we've got to clear some bush. Morning, ladies and gents. Welcome along to Madworks Garage again. Hope you're doing well. Well, we've enjoyed some lovely weather lately and uh, it's gone a little bit murky today. The day we decide to go and do something, it's gone a bit murky, but it's still quite warm. 17 degrees showing on the car. We've all been a bit quiet because we've been doing other things. Yeah, so I do apologize for not releasing any videos lately, but we have been uh, busy and we've been. Yeah. Ben's here, he's behind the camera. Say hello, Benny. Hello, everybody. Jake's in the back. Say hello, Jake. Hello. Jake's the other son. So I have both of my sons with me today, which is really handy. And we are on a bit of a road trip again over to the FOD. Now the FOD, in layman's terms that is, Forest of Dean. We're going there because, I don't know whether you noticed on my page, if you've been looking on the page, i put some pictures up lately of some uh, three, well, two old panel vans that are tucked away in some heavy bush. Um, over in the Forest of Dean. The story is, um, I used to live next door to this guy, um, going back, oh, must be, how old are you, Benny? 16, is it? Yeah, so Ben, Jake, how old are you, Jake? 14. Yeah, 14, so I can't remember, too many kids. Uh, 14, so Jake was born there. So 14, at least 14, 13, 14 years ago um, was the last time I saw this chap. But I spoke to him on the phone a few times. Anyway, he happens to have three Bedford CA panel vans. Uh, and when I first saw them, they was all right-ish. Um, but now they're not. <laughs> They've been left there for way too long. Um, and uh, unfortunately, they've suffered a very nasty death. But um, we're gonna go over there today on an exploratory operation, really, to see What's savable, what we can get out, blah de blah. So we've got full permission from the landowner to go and uh, do this. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, they're worth forklifting out of there and putting on my trailer um, and taking away in one piece. If not, I think we may have to break them up. Uh, as far as years are concerned, I think they go anywhere from about 58 to 1961. Um, they're all early vans. And one in particular has Vauxhall marked hubcaps, which is uh, quite unusual unless someone's put them on there uh, or for Velux or something like that. It's an unusual thing to see Vauxhall on, on the hubcaps themselves on a Bedford. But anyway, it's got to be a very early one, that's all I can say. But I don't think it's a split screen. I've never got close enough to see. Also, um, where that one in particular is, there's an old barn that's collapsed and um, in that barn is, I think, a Mark 1 Vauxhall Chevette, um, which could be interesting to somebody. Uh, so I'm going to explore that today as well and see what we can find. So we're armed with chainsaws, strimmers, gloves, all sorts of stuff, so we can actually get to them because one of the vans has got a briar bush, that's like hawthorn thorns, um, all over it and you can't even see it, it's so thick. So it's going to be interesting. Anyway, so stay tuned and we'll see what we find when we get there. Okay, so we've arrived and um, believe it or not guys, see that bush? <laughs> In that bush there is a panel van. So what we're going to do is cut our way through and see what sort of condition it's in. All right, and after this, there's two more like this. So uh, let's see what we find. Just Thanks about to see it. Can you see it? Grey, just in the middle. If you look in the middle.
There we are, Rob, we've made a hole in it. And uh, we found one of the vans. So if you go down through there with the camera and have a look around, you will see a little old green panel van in the undergrowth. Don't know the exact year, but it's late 60s. And what I can see of it, I know it's covered in wood and everything. But what I can actually see is quite solid. Um, how much of the body is uh, good, I don't know, because it's all buried. Probably not. But um, until we clear it all away, but we're never going to know. So I think the trick is to keep going and then see what we find. <sighs> Mad, didn't he? <laughs> Mad! Mad! Right. I thought it was our one disaster. One of our big pairs of second periods have broken. So that slows it up a bit. But there you are. On the right. It's bad. You stopped? Right, van number two. Now, this was set here a good 40 years ago. Um, and when I saw it the first time, it was sat up. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, again, too far gone to do anything with. The chassis is in the ground, basically. No engine. The front's missing, obviously. There's a seat in there bit of a seat it's just full of rubbish like everything else every van we see it seems to be used as somebody's shed yeah. there is still a dashboard there though what's left of it that's poking out yeah that's probably savable for the bezel um, bezel the obviously the bedford script badges have all gone because people love to nick them they're the easiest thing to get off so uh, the one on the dashboard is actually snapped so someone's tried to pull it off and snapped it that's, that's uh, original. That was the end of that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the executive decision on this one is uh, too late, I'm afraid. Such a shame. I mean, there is sections that can be used, like Such the is. roof, the rear of the roof is really good. At, strangely, this oh, the gutter up on here. And obviously the side panels, if you're putting a van back to a panel van, these side panels are like gold dust because you just can't get them so and the rear gutter on here again is really really good all the way around actually the whole top of the the whole roof is pretty good apart from that one corner over there <laughs> you know and what are you doing it's oh jake's found the bumper it's, it's oh there. lord it's there in the floor look at that see if we can extract it jake you never know it might do a turn i bet you can't i bet you need a spade there's a number plate we can find out the year roughly. Get the number plate out. This is uh, this is uh, Bedford Archaeology. Uh, I can see. It's an X and a G. An X and a C. Uh, X C J. Is it a J? Yeah, three o one. Is it? I wonder if it's still on the DVLA website. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to scratch it, Jake. Yeah, you might ruin the paint. Yeah. Oh, look at that. 3 0. There's a wheel. It's got a hubcap on it, Jake. Where? They're right there. Where? Your legs. It's got town and country tyres on the back there. Country. No, no, do this first. Get the, see if we can get that out. One thing we did. Oh, it's 3 0 1. It is, yeah. Mm. XCJ 3 0 1. I bet someone's Googled that already. Googled <laughs> it quicker than that. Yeah. There you are. You found the end of it, mate. Look at that, nice early plate. I'm going to hold the camera. So, it's going to be pre, pre-60, isn't it? Oh my, 60, 60, 60, what is it, 62, isn't it? Oh, Jake, might like go, that. go on, go on, Jake, go on. You might go through it. Oh, he's got, he's got worried, he's got worried. Oh, shot. Don't swear now. This video in my knee. Extraction. Hang on. 
Oh, there you go. Oh, and the back door fell off at the same time. There's... Oh, I mean, see, it's, it's got patina. It's got patina. It's also got a nice bend right in the middle of it. What's left of a bracket? Yeah. But um... I, I think the bumper's gone. That. Number plate's it's cool. It's all hills. They're all hills. That other one over there was hill. Little maker thing there. So it is. Yeah. Look at that. Do you want me to pop off the tire? No, the cap. You can try, but be careful with it. Don't use that end. Use the other end. That's it. Just pop it behind. Oh, it's already off. The wheels actually disintegrate behind the cap. That's shot to bits, mate. Yeah. Oh, and the yeah. Pop it back on there. Let it die with some dignity. That's it. Oh, it's not going to stay there now. Nature's yeah. taken it. That'll do. It would end up there anyway, eventually. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at those town and country tyres. Yeah. They probably drove it up here. Right, thing. Get behind there. Can you see behind there? Yeah. What have you found? That must be the front bumper you had there. Yeah. Where'd you put it? In the back? The back bumper's still buried, is it? Yeah. Is that the Yeah, we've got some, uh, some scrappage in the back. Got a nice, uh, I think that's the rear tyre there. A couple of mountain bikes there. That, and uh, the petrol tank's actually about two foot higher than it used to be. You what? That tyre's that one. Yes, there's a tyre here in the ground, look. It's funny how nature takes everything back eventually, isn't it? <laughs> including us but look at these gutters okay that roof is worth saving um i'll have a look in a minute anyway so that's man number two yeah i don't need that i've got new ones unfortunately right. <laughs> it's dead okay so van number three we're going to walk over here for a minute now don't get excited <laughs> but van number three is there. Yeah, I just want me to give it a walk around with you. You can't walk around it, can you? Well. Can if you like. Okay. Okay, so van number three. An early van again. I don't know what year, rough, rough year. Uh, gotta be uh, somewhere between 58, 62. But it's got 15 inch wheels and Vauxhall hubcaps. Yes, this is what we were on about in the car. Which is quite weird. Well, it's got a 15 inch wheel. Yeah, we and can't a see the other one. <laughs> oh, Look at the way the wood's growing around the bumper there. You see that? Yeah. So the tree has been the thing that's ripped the van to pieces, really. Careful, Jake. Careful, go on. The side's collapsing, is it? Yeah, you've got a shot. Is it? Look, yeah. Oh. Let's have a look anyway. Look at that. Now, how many of those hubcaps have you ever seen a Vauxhall one that's on a Bedford? I reckon these come off a car originally, off a Wyvern or something like that. Do look nice though. Yeah, it's a shame it's uh, so pulverised really. See the sides, but it's still. But there's still air in the tyre by the looks of it. <laughs> there's a hockey stick laid there. Where? Right oh, there. Oh yeah. Off the front grill. Where are we? Oh, that's, that's seeable, isn't it? I remember, these always remind me of the year I went to Bewley. I didn't go there very much because it's all very expensive down there. The Bewley Auto Jumble? Yeah. And I worked, walked around it all day with my dad. All day. And I think he was about 75 then. And the only thing I bought was one of these brand new for fiver. All day. And the next day, me and my dad couldn't walk. Like I'd been kicked by a mule. Yeah, and then I went. No, that wasn't a Bewley. No, you haven't been a Bewley. Where was that? The other one? Uh, Where? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah. Is that part of the tow bar there? Where? Laid against there. The angle iron. No, it's not, is no, it? No, it's just yeah, a piece of angle iron. Yeah, that has got one massive bench seat in that van. Obviously not original, but it has. Looks like it's out of a Vauxhall Crestor or something. I mean, it, it, when you when you come here and put it in perspective, vans would look so cool if they were slammed. <laughs> like John's. Yeah. Let's mention John Chisholm. Hello, mate. How are you? John's done a van that's slammed like that. And uh, for all the haters out there, tough. 
Lucy's it looks done cool. It. <laughs> um, mm. And he's got a massive Rover V8 with a blower going mid mount in it. Some van. It's going to be some van. You've got to appreciate people doing that sort of thing because it's a damn sight harder than restoring them mm. when they do stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. Well, Scoops over in um, Canada, he's done the, the orange one. Customised that. Absolutely stunning van. Amazing workmanship. So you've got to appreciate the fact that they've done it, regardless whether it's original or not. Or not. Like I said, it's a much harder job to customise a van than it is to restore one. Anyway, get off my soapbox. Um, so the only thing we can do is we need to get around the other side of this one and uh, see what the other side's like and see if there's anything savable on that side. Yeah. But again... <laughs> it doesn't look like it, but we'll give it a go. It's a bit of a disaster when it comes to saving them. Because they're not savable, really. You'd have to be brave, wouldn't you? You would indeed. Can I just get in there, Jake, so I can have a look inside the cab? I've got a thorn in my welly. There's a list of uh, answer on a postcard, what did that used to be? Um, can't remember. You don't know. Where? Yeah. A Lister cap. Wow. Look at that. That's Lister. Well. Mine. Yeah, Benjamin's got a Lister. <laughs> I have Benjamin. indeed, yeah. yeah. I'll put that somewhere safe for Benjamin. Right, well, that'll be, uh, have to be another video. Right, that. <laughs> Oh, it's the, yeah. Oh, I knew I like you. Yeah, it goes on the, in like the wheel arch. It That's used to it. be somewhere there, I reckon. <laughs> but now it looks like a little rusty bit of metal. Now it's dead. Yeah, it's very dead. You'll never guess what's in here. No. On the dashboard, in situ, is the Bedford script badge. So that's coming out. If yeah, this would be the only thing we save. More than likely. This is a windscreen for banger racing. <laughs> I wonder if that's what happened to it. I don't know. It's got crushed. Okay. Oh, I'm sure I saw someone on my site shouting for one of these the other day. <laughs> it's the light, interior light, yeah, isn't it? It's busted. Oh. No, it was already busted. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that person just saw that just go, ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's busted, but I'm sure I heard someone shouting out for one of them. A bathtub over there. Probably, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, that's a good bit of time. Yeah, that's, that's the uh, original front door yeah. sliding glass, but unfortunately, it ain't no good because you can't get the rudders at the moment. We're working on it. Now, I'm going to take the risk and go in here. I'll do it if you would like. Okay. Very careful. That could collapse. That comfy, is it? It's falling a bit, so. I hope there's no raccoons in here. Right, Jake, can you go to the car? Yeah. And in the back, there's a little tool bag, and in the tool bag, there'll be a little flat headed screwdriver. Could you get it for me? Yes. Good lad. Because I need to ex. Oh, actually, bring the whole tool bag. Okay. So we can get these spindles out, Bench. Yeah. We all know how rare these are and hard to get hold of. <laughs> Free speed gearbox. See, actually, the gearbox isn't in it. Oh. The engine, half the engine's in it. It's sad, man. It is very sad. Because it's brown dials. Hmm. Actually, it's all here. What's left of it is all here. Just all been busted up. They know not what they do, these people. No. They know not what they do. Have you got it? My dad, I found a door. A door? Bedford door. With a glass in it? No. It's a regular door. Uh, there's a door with a glass in it around here somewhere. I saw it the last time I came. Boom. Right, can I have a screwdriver, please? Flat in screwdriver. And I want a 7 16 spanner. There should be one in there. Oh, That's right. perfect, that is. Okay. We'll try and get this badge off without breaking it. Be choppy. There we are. That's 
Oh, let us pray. And it's got the tags on it. So could you please be really careful with that? No. Front seat, I'm just going to show these guys. Okay. The Ladies bag. and gentlemen. It isn't. Oh, okay, hang on. Bear with. You can't see it because of focus. Jake is focusing on you, man. <laughs> there we are. Look at that. Lovely. Where's that list of cap you had? Benny? Yeah. Sort through that bag, but I can't do it in here. Yeah, we'll do it. Right, um, just going to put this. I ain't got enough room to manoeuvre, I've got to get in there. Ooh, you're alert like that, that's lovely. Just try and cut him around that side, Jake. Around the front. Where did you find... put his red stuff at? Say, a 12 mil or 7 sixteenths or something like that. Yeah. Uh, they'll be where you left yeah, the back of the truck, are they? 12 mil. 13. Half inch. What did you put up front? Do you want a 916 for you? We've got there, just give me those. I've got 916 for 11 mil. You want a hoke back? No. 516's 3.8. A quarter and 516. Can you believe it? Huh? Huh? Can you believe it? Well, if you're going tight and then loosen. <laughs> I'll go to back there. Years after it stood there, you would never believe that's some motion. Such a tear, then, Jake, because your blunt's all doing that sort of stuff. Alright, have you got a nice 16th, sir, did you say? Went through the floor. Uh, Got to be open ended. Someone high flat No. Nope. I thought I'd just call it. Ten mil. Oh, candy. Nice feet. But it's got a bit of an end. It's got an end. Oh my god, it undoes. Oh, is that just a thing slipping? No, no, it's undoing. No, it's undoing. That's crazy, insane. Suck a pair of No shit. You've got um, something in the bag that you can get behind there and pull it off. There's a pair of grips there or something, you can grab yeah, it with and pull it off. Yeah. 
but it's really stuck like this. Ben, watch it, I'm in here, mate. But the thing is, you've got to get the whole thing out. Mm. What are you trying to get out? Those little motors, those little uh, gearboxes. Uh, the screen, wipe the gearboxes. I can't get the damn thing. It needs to come out. I don't know where the other ones move. Out of focus again. Well, if you can't see, it is a windscreen wiper motor. Is this is my saw down here, Jake. There we go. You're oh, going to yes. lose stuff, mate. We've got to find it all before we leave. It's mixed up with barbed wire and all sorts yeah, I know. of Spectacular. Oh, beat it, damn. Oh, I thought I saw that. Grab that. Catch, Ben. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Come on. And there's something to look at. This is the thing, isn't it? Yeah, Jake, you don't need to be in there, Jake. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. I'm a bit worried about that roof collapsing. Clock. Do you see it? What? The end of this. It should be like under there somewhere, where the bumper is. Yeah, could Look at that. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's got one dent in it that I can knock out. That's 
Let's go and show the camp the crap. Well, one dent, I'll have to knock that out. Can I hold that Jake on, please? Oh. Bear us down <coughs> here. Alright. Jake. Yeah? I mean, bear it down here. Yeah. Quite possibly there's another one, but plain, without the bed put on it. It should have two. I know. I know. Sorry? Bedford. Mm. All of its glory. Superb. Uh, we, we don't have any shovels really. Come this far without them, Jacob doesn't think we'll think we'll manage. What he wants is a bulldozer in here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the other one's there, I think that's gone already. But that's the important one. I'm ready for lunch. I'm me. I've got worms. I shouldn't take that. Yeah. Um, um, I'm just going to go and have a look and have a peek at the back. I've already looked at it from the inside. Oh, really? Should you go in there and have a look? Yeah, but I can have a look at the actual actual bag. Well, can you pass that tinkering out there? Yeah. Oh, that's a cool. Ain't that come with me a, a minute? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hang on, mate. Yeah, Oh, that's terrible scored up, that is. Yes, I think it is. No, it's not. It's round. So it must be... I'm getting confused here. It must be 59, this van. Late, late 59, it be. Late 59. Careful, Ben. Will it be a mix of matches early and late? No, that's 64 that happened with crossovers. 63, 64. No, this is because um, they went from split screen in 1958. Yeah. For nine months, they made a short screen version, same as this, but with straight side, straight pillars. So all they done was took the centre pillar out of the of the van. And then in late 59, they made it into round sided rather than straight. So this is the late 59 round. The reason I say that is because on 15 inch wheels, and it had the Bedford script front bar on it. So it has to be that early. Yeah. Ben, you're going to go through that? What's she doing? Huh. What? Too bad to spy, actually. <laughs> Going down to the arctic. <laughs> hey, Jake, pass the gas screwdriver again. Wait, what's that, in the back? That blue one. Just something to take out. Worth having. Blue one? I had a black one. Yeah, that, that. Oh, yeah, any, anything. Mine, no, it's not blue, so it's just right. my thing. A little one or, or anything that's decent size. Yeah, that'll be probably best. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, you can see that. It's crap. Okay. What is it? The glass. Uh, come on out there, Minnie. Mm. Right. Um, we need to gather everything up. Because there's nothing here. Are we going to look at this chevette? Yeah, we can go down there in a minute. Let's um, 
yet again another van that's completely unsavable. Three out of three ain't bad. Is it? Oh, that's not bad. Action. Okay, so as you've seen, we uh, failed dismally today. Unfortunately, for the Bedfords more than anything, I mean, at, at the end of the day, the only reason we do this is to save these things and get them back on the road. But there's some that are just, excuse me, too badly gone. And those three, all of them, too badly gone. So a rather depressing day. But at the same time, you know, it is what it is. You know, it could have just easily been one good one there that we could have dragged out and restored at some point and put back on the road but <laughs> they're just too far gone so all the people out there that are hanging on to vehicles that are saying to themselves one day i'm going to do something with that if someone comes along and they have the facilities and the time to do something with that right now let it go because otherwise you end up with three like that and that doesn't help no one and it, doesn't, it certainly doesn't help the heritage of, of these vehicles. So, without bursting into tears, I'm going to go now. But thanks for watching Madworks Garage yet again. Uh, me and the boys out tinkering about trying to find these, these old vehicles. And uh, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe and press the little bell for notifications. And uh, yeah, just keep watching us because um, we all support. We can still get out here and do this. And... Uh, I know we have fun doing it, which is a bonus, but uh, yeah. Thanks again. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye from me. Bye-bye from me. Bye-bye from me. Ta-da.